Okay, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we will talk about 2019 October SAT exam, section four, question number 27. Now, this question, uh, it's related to, uh, uh, to the subject of st statistics. And uh, I understand that many high school students uh, would have uh, quite a limited exposure to statistics. So I would uh, use a more comfortable way to explain the terms here. Uh, and also uh, uh, try to make you uh, have an easier time to understand the concept here. So you can pause the uh, video uh, to read this question if you need to. Uh, if you have already done the, uh, if you have already done this question and uh, and you want to look for the uh, explanation, you can just uh, keep watching. So uh, you are looking here uh, with two sample A and B, two samples A and B. Uh, you have this uh, percent in favor in one column, a margin of error for the other column. The question asks, which of the following is the most appropriate reason that the margin of error for sample A is greater than the margin of error for sample B? So one thing I, we have uh, learned, well, one thing that uh, we will talk about in statistics is that we, uh, how are we going to collect the samples like uh, if you are asking people's opinion how many people are going to ask and uh, the the rule of thumb is that the more people you ask the more likely uh, that you would get the true answer okay for example for example if you go to your classroom and ask uh, your your classmates okay do you like orange okay and if you ask just two people, you have a very limited sample size. So you may get, you know, uh, maybe the people you get, uh, the responses you get from those two classmates, they would say, uh, yeah, one is sets, one sets yes, one sets no, so you get a 50% in favor. But then uh, it's kind of hard to use that 50% uh, number to say, hey, uh, I got a little poll right here and uh, I'm going to use this 50% to represent uh, the entire class of 25 students, for example. Okay, so if you want to provide a more represented, uh, a more uh, uh, more of a convincing data, okay, that is representative to your class, you may want to um, interview more students in order to get the true estimate or the closest estimate, uh, closest estimate, uh, estimate possible. Okay, so you say, oh, okay, let's go ahead and interview 20 people out of 25. Then we will say, all right, uh, the chance of you getting it wrong, it's kind of slim now because you are interviewing a lot of people out of your class. And this is exactly what margin of error means. Okay, margin of error simply means that how likely, uh, how, uh, what is the chance, okay? How, oh, sorry, spelled it wrong. What is the chance, uh, what is the chance of, uh, of being wrong, okay? So using the example I just illustrated with uh, comparing, uh, getting uh, interview results from two students uh, versus getting the interview results from 20 students, your chance of getting it wrong will be much less if you interview more people. And this is exactly what the question is trying to see if you understand the true meaning of margin of error. So the reason, the only reason why sample A could have a bigger margin of error, it's likely because the sample size of uh, A, it's less than the sample size of B. So sample A would be at a higher risk of not getting the true result that is representative of the entire population. While sample B, it's likely that they got more results so that the chance of getting it wrong would be much less. So if you understand the margin of error, the meaning of margin of error uh, using the examples or any other examples you can come up with, then we can say, all right, um, the reason it's likely that uh, sample A had a smaller sample size, meaning that they did not interview as many people as they could so that the chance of getting it wrong is higher. 
after watching this video? Did you learn something new? I hope this video helps you. If it does, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And also make sure to check out other videos on this channel. See you soon.